According to new research from the University at Buffalo School of Management, when most people feel guilty about eating meat, they don't eat less of it. Their research shows that they simply justify their choice by picking a meat dish that's prepared in a healthier way. There's little doubt that more people are at least talking about plant-based food, talking about sustainability and animal welfare, but the reality is that more than 90% of consumers eat meat, a number that hasn't changed much in the past two decades, according to Gallup polls. Now, this new study from the University of Buffalo, which is about to be published in the Journal of Consumer Psychology, raises some very illuminating findings. Meat eating is thoroughly ingrained in most cultures. That, according to Sunyi Yoon, PhD, Assistant Professor of Marketing in the University of Buffalo School of Management. Our research shows that when faced with the moral issue of animal suffering, most people will seek to defend their meat consumption by emphasizing the health benefits that it can provide. This research was led by authors Yoon and Danny Kim, a doctoral researcher at the UB School of Management, and they conducted a series of studies with nearly 1,500 consumers and a variety of meat options, including chicken, beef, and pork. In each study, they elicited feelings of guilt by asking people to think about the animal's emotions and human-like characteristics. In one case, they even adapted a real campaign run by an animal welfare group that featured a pig saying, I am me not meat. Then the subjects chose between two meat dishes, for example, healthy grilled chicken versus deep fried chicken nuggets, or two non-meat options, hearty grilled veggies versus a teriyaki stir fry. Some studies included hypothetical menu items, while others offered the choice between real food items for the participants to eat. Most of the subjects selected the healthy meat dish over the tastier, unhealthy option to reduce their sense of guilt. The only time that the researchers did not observe this effect was when they told people that the meat producer was certified for its humane treatment of animals, as consumers no longer felt the need to justify their meal choice. Research shows that when our moral standards and self-serving desires come into conflict, our self-interest often wins, Yoon says. As we found, when people feel guilty over animal welfare issues, they don't tend to avoid meat. Instead, they go with just a healthier option to justify their own lifestyle. For organizations or policymakers that are her hoping to curb meat consumption, Yoon says that their research offers a path forward. To be effective, messages should simultaneously induce guilt by highlighting animals' human-like feelings and counteract popular beliefs about the nutritional value of the meat.